Football is a game of challenges. Um, it it's a struggle. It makes you uncomfortable and therefore makes you grow and change and become a better person. A better yard player. false start does not help. Empty backfield trips here. Shane is uh, a young man that I've become close to here at uh, Penn State. Plays quarterback. Uh, really has a very important role on the football team. I'll actually signal in a play with with a marker board. Play 96 could be this one, and if, if you want to call that play, coach would say 96. So I write down 96, show it to Matt. He looks at what it is, calls the play, and we go from there. Bright guy, really cares about his teammates. He's smart. He's a, a, a guy that wants to be an author when he graduates from from Penn State. Here, here's a guy that uh, really is what Penn State's all about. <laughs> I love the idea of like relentless effort because if you have that relentless effort, you, you have no ceiling. Football is a lot of large men colliding and violent speeds, you know. And here I am, dropping back, and I'm supposed to be calm, and I'm supposed to not look at them, and I'm supposed to throw a ball. My relationship with God is extremely important. Um, I mean, because if it wasn't for Him, I wouldn't have the game of football. I wouldn't have the ability to, you know, challenge myself and, and to have the passion that I have for it. I believe in prayer. I'll take a knee before and after every game, just praising God for all the blessings He gave me, um, asking Him to bless the day and bless the game, and then thanking Him for it at the end. I've got my family in football, and then I've got my Bread of Life family, and they're very different, and I really like that because um, it it helps me be me in all different facets of my life. Bread of Life is a um, it's a charismatic prayer group, and we just join together for um, praise and worship songs. We'll, we'll, we'll sing, we'll, um, we'll pray over each other, we'll, um, usually we'll have somebody who leads a, a message, they, they give a talk, and then um, it's all just Christ-centered. It's all just trying to grow in our, our faith in Christ and do it in our own special way. Blessed are the rosary is a set of prayers that probably takes about half an hour to pray, and it's um, a mix of Our Fathers and Hail Marys and Glory Bees and all these uh, traditional Catholic prayers that you can say in a certain sequence, and um, it's all devoted to the to the Mother Mary and to Jesus. It's a very meditative time that you can you can almost fall into into a peace with Christ and, and meditation on it. If you have faith and if you have hope, you believe that no matter what happens, something good will come of it.